has been impacted by mass incarceration. It was specifically targeted. We recognize the communities across New York City that are not only impacted by incarceration, that comes with poverty, mm -hmm. that comes with low performing schools, that comes with, as I recognize, dirty communities, just not a clean environment. So these traumas are all compounded mm -hmm. and that's what our organization is working on. Not only are we working with the stigma, the shame, and as I said, the secret of having a parent in prison, we're able to do it through the from the inside out. That's where the mental health services come in. Each one of our young people, as or scholars as we call our, our participants, each one of our scholars are partnered and have a clinician. So they are clients, they have a weekly session, they have a, a treatment plan, we have psychiatrists on staff. We could be the best basketball program, SAT prep program, but unless we deal with the anger, the stigma, the sadness, as one young person said, you know, then we're not really able to really make a difference. Guys, today I'll be visiting Children of Promise NYC at their Brooklyn location and I've previously visited their The Bronx location so I'm super excited to tour this facility and get to meet some of the kiddos so follow me. attend our program and see their classmates and be like, you have a parent in prison? Me, they go to the same school. They're spending wow. six hours a day at the same elementary, middle, and high school, but not until they come to Children of Promise. And it's like, you have a parent in prison as well. So this is not only a safe space, but it also brings a camaraderie with the, the, the scholars that attend our program to be able to now go to school and know I now have a comrade, which no one spoke about. Grandma does say, when you get to school, don't say anything. Or mom says, don't let anybody know that dad's in prison. Because there is a stigma around incarceration. The stigma that follows it and then the reactions that you get from sure. people aren't always nice. Like I had lost a ton of friends. They wouldn't, mothers wouldn't allow their children to spend the nights with me anymore after they had done it all my childhood. Mm -hmm. And so it's just a complete flip sure. of how people respond to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. First of all, mental health services are not part of the healing process for black and brown communities, right? It's not part of the healing process. So now you want to infuse mental health, but how do we do that in a culturally acceptable way? Is first we allow the relationship to build, and then you're now going to sit in a room and have that one-on-one -on -one psychotherapy with that clinician. I was born in Detroit, Michigan. Spent most of my life in Mississippi and grew up with my father in prison, so that's kind of the relation here. I've worked for several years advocating for children of incarcerated parents, finding ways to improve their quality of life as well as working with inmates. So having him instantly taken out of my life was really hard to cope with and I was a teenager, or going into my teenage years, so my mom and I were bickering back and forth all the time, so it was hard, it was difficult to deal with all of that. Um, and I was like, I didn't have my dad to run to anymore, and uh, I had to step up and accept a lot of responsibilities. And it was really difficult to deal with, but I knew I didn't have any choice. I had to get through it. And so I did everything in my power to, to just power through it. But I think what really helped me was having two younger sisters that I knew felt more lost than I did and more confused than I did and I felt like I was their only hope and the only thing that they really had to kind of look up to at the time. I just finished up here at Children of Promise NYC in Brooklyn and this facility is absolutely amazing and the impact that they have on our youth is so inspiring. It was so fun to interact with the children, get to hear their stories, answer their questions and just have a little fun and I can't wait to be back.